But anyways, um, so in this case, first thing we can do is one thing we need to remember with sine, um, sine cubed. We write sine cubed like this. But in reality, what this means is sine of x cubed. That's another way to write sine cubed of x. Okay, But we write that cube upside down there. So just one thing for you guys to remember. Now the next thing is I realized that, oh, I have an inside function and I have an outside function. All right, So uh, the outside function is I'm going to call uh, f of x. And the inside function I'm going to call g of x. Because you can see that our chain rule is f of g of x. So my outside function, I'll say f of x, is going to be x cubed. My inside function, g of x, equals sine of x. And again, I'm going to work through these slowly, and I'd recommend doing that until you get used to this or you feel comfortable with it. If you feel comfortable with it, you can skip a lot of these steps. Then I'm just going to take the derivative of each of these. f of x equals 3x squared. g prime of x equals cosine of x. Okay, so again, we're just finding all of the elements that we're going to use, and then you know, the more and more we do these, the quicker you'll be able to do this. So the uh, chain rule simply says f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So we take our so we need to do the composition of g of x into f prime. So we have f prime is 3 times x squared, and we're going to plug in our g of x function. So therefore, that's going to look something like this. And then times g prime of x, which is cosine of x. And then again, we don't really like sine as sine x squared. We'll just rewrite this as 3 sine squared of x times cosine of x. And that is representing y prime because that was our original equation up there. OK, cool. Questions? So we got to practice composition.